Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Rucha Mehta, consultant endocrinologist and diabetologist coming to you live from Surat at the RSSDI Gujarat chapter Diabetica 2024. It gives me immense pleasure that uh, I will be speaking to you about some of the newer therapies in diabetes. What is most important is that we are now finally beginning to moving away simply from treating blood glucose. In fact, there is a whole shift in thinking that we must not just call this diabetes, but we must think about this as an adiposopathy based chronic disease, A, B, C, D. What this means is diseases that stem as metabolic disorders. So we all know that obesity, being overweight, is the highest risk factor for developing type 2 diabetes. It also happens to be one of the biggest drivers of cardiac disease, heart disease, strokes, peripheral arterial disease. Recognizing this as the common soil from which stem several metabolic disorders, there's a huge move now to call this as ABCD, which is adiposopathy-based chronic disease or metabolism-based chronic disease. This will behoove us as clinicians not just to treat glucose as a number, but also treat the patient as a whole and therefore treat blood sugar, weight management, blood pressure, cholesterol and advise them for lifestyle changes such as cessation of smoking as well as quitting alcohol. This will also be an important point for us to remember that we now have medications that can affect not just the blood glucose but also help to reduce the cardiovascular risk such as SGLT2 inhibitors and GLP-1 receptor analogs. Today, I spoke about oral semaglutide, which is a GLP-1 analog, which helps to address several disorders or several pathways that go wrong in the patient with underlying diabetes. These molecules can help to make your own insulin work better. They help you to reduce weight, improve cholesterol, improve blood pressure, and now are also known to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease by almost 20 to 25%. Hence, as clinicians, we must make sure we risk stratify our patients, we understand these newer molecules based on the understanding of pathophysiology of diabetes and therefore make a big move to call these now as cardiometabolic disorders. Thank you.